Hey folks, it's Tom, your frugal prepper. I got a new tool. I'm excited about it. I've wanted one for a while. It's one of those things that you don't want to buy till you're sure you can kind of justify buying it. And most of these things are like mega bucks. Um, there are some things on how to build drone out of a paint can. And um, I don't know, I just never liked having to deal with all that. So I found this little guy right here on eBay. It's by a place called Smoke Break, and they build these units. It's got really nice connections, high pressure hose, 300 PSI hoses, some nice uh, O-rings, and a propane regulator there. And uh, it comes pre-filled with some liquid, but they give you an extra bottle of smoke liquid. Um, it actually comes with this carabiner, this nice big carabiner, that you can clip on the hose, hang that baby up from the hood prop or whatever, hood latch, um, and it looks pretty straightforward. It comes with a really nice long uh, cord that they put some loom on. My loom showed up kind of falling off a little here. I had to kind of put it back on. Um, we can do that later. But it's a pretty decently long cord, but you're not going to reach a battery under the back seat and get to the EVAP system with this. Um, but most cars have a jumping spot or a positive you can find up under the hood. And it comes with a nice little uh, fuse holder. Keep this guy fused on the positive side. Um, yeah, it seems pretty decent. Uh, they give you this uh, piece of hose here to hook to the unit and to run to get your smoke out of, which I think is alright. Um, it does seem a little awkward if you're sitting it down and kind of will tip to one side kind of easy, uh, but most of the time this should be hanging up. So I got a battery here. It comes with these instructions and it says um, it's not recommended to run the machine for more than 10 minutes. Um, you can do it, but it's going to shorten the life of it. Um, and then it will probably continue to produce smoke for two to three minutes after you turn it off. Um, it can run on uh, glycol, vegetable glycol. Um, vegetable glycol can be found in Walmart skincare section, and uh, PG can be found at Tractor Supply. It says you can also use unscented baby oil or scented but it will smell. Um, it uh, gives you some operation connect to the battery wait for three minutes with no air hose connected and then connect it to the system while you're waiting then connect it to shop air and look for smoke. So supposed to have fluid in it this is this is the first time I'm doing this like real time. I've got this battery here it's got should have some juice left in it it was starting to start a little slow on a car, so we put a new one in. I still have this old one. So I've got that. We'll let that warm up for three minutes. I've got my air holes. I'm going to hook this up and see what this baby can do. All right, folks, so we're back. It's been plugged in a few minutes. I got a little smoke coming out the end here. Um, we're going to go ahead and hook up the air line. Your little rubber hose fitting is just right down here is a little vacuum fitting kind of thing sticking out that you plug that into and then we'll hook up the air. Oh. All right, there we go. This thing is screaming hot. So don't like put your arm up against it. Keep it hanging. Um, I mean, it's not going to give you third degree burns or nothing, but it's hot. <laughs> um, but yeah, it puts out a decent little amount of smoke. I think it definitely will get the job done. I'm excited to use it. Um, they make several different, they make like three different versions. I'll put links to all three of them down below. I think they have a blue one, a red one, and a black one. Um, but all in all, it's a pretty nice little kit. I think for a hundred bucks, by the time you gathered all these materials and did all this work, it, it's well worth the money. Uh, just And you'll have a basic, you know, EVAP smoke machine. This will come in handy when I was working on that Mini Cooper trying to find where the boost leak was on the turbo. And there's a lot of vacuum leaks and I have to 
you know, try to find them with brake clean and carb clean or, you know, a spray bottle with water and putting some pressure in the system, uh, you know, soapy water. Uh, but this will be a much quicker way to make that diagnosis and much easier. And I'll go through a lot less cans of brake clean and carb clean. So I think this is going to be a tool that's well worth it. Just a quick, simple, easy little smoke machine. It does have like some little funky brown stuff that kind of builds up on the end. I think that's just from the burning um, glycol in it. Um, it says it continues to make smoke for three minutes after you turn it off. So let me hook up the air. Unhook the battery cable. And it is definitely still making smoke. So, uh, pretty, uh, pretty nice little uh, uh, diagnostic tool. I think I'm going to enjoy having this guy around. So if you're interested, check in the links down below. Um, I am an eBay affiliate. I make it, you know, I made like $4 in a year. So <laughs> I'm not making much. Mostly I'm just putting those links down there below. In case you guys are interested, you can go check it out. I'll talk to y'all later. It's Tom, your frugal prepper. Be happy. Be frugal out there. <laughs>